This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Captain and the left meet Amma to sort out issues in the alliance. Meanwhile, the CPI says there will be no third front. No, no chance for the third front. What about the fiery orator of the MDMK then? Sources say he will meet Jai Lalita tomorrow to make peace. Karnanidhi and allies brainstorm to ensure a comeback in the elections. Campaign strategy is top on the agenda meeting. Dr. Raya declares the names of the candidates the PNK plans to field. GK Money and KJ Guru retain their key seats. Two young lives were cut short in the morning hours of today. The city police are investigating the separate murders. And finally, politics paints the city red, green and all of the state's parties shade. The colours of Holi spills over to the elections as well. This is the late night news on NDTV Hindu with me, Evelyn Matthew. A look at the rest of the day's headlines as well. The Prime Minister rejects our allegations that the UPA bribed MPs for votes, dismisses WikiLeaks, but the opposition demands a debate. The opposition holds up the parliament for the second day as members take up WikiLeaks and cash for votes. Kerala's Chief Minister is back in the contest. Achutanandan will stand for elections after a controversy over the party leaving him out. The Supreme Court overturns the acquittal of two British nationals charged with the child sexual abuse charge, sends them to jail for six years. The Allahabad High Court dismisses Arushi's parents' plea against the CBI's accusations. They will be tried now for her murder. Libya declares an immediate ceasefire after a United Nations crackdown. A Libyan minister says they've taken the decision to protect their citizens. And workers struggle to restore power to the Fukushima nuclear power plant. The IAEA chief says it's a race against time. The melodrama has been going on in the political theatre of Tamil Nadu ahead of uh, the assembly elections that the state has uh, will be going into in 25 days from now. Yesterday's protagonist, the DMDK, along with the left, have taken centre stage again today and uh, are currently sitting down for a meeting with the AIA DMK Supremo, Ms. Jay Lalita, hoping to sort out key issues in the electoral alliance. In fact, the CPM leaders, G. Ramakrishnan, TK Rangarajan, AISMK's Sharath Kumar, have already um, been in talks for more than an hour now. The actor, in fact, managed to also back two constituencies from the AIA DMK, that's that of Tenkasi and Nanguneri. Vijay Kant has been insisting that the AIA DMK led alliance include the MDMK and that AMMA ideally coordinate with uh, its allies on the party's election campaign. Their primary demand is also that constituencies, which are their traditional strongholds, be allotted to them. Meanwhile, the friction has also pushed Jayalalita's campaign to a later date from today. In fact, the CPI is a C. Mahendran spoke to NDTV Hindu and from what he said, there is now a strong indication that there will be no third front this time around. Seat sharing discussion is going on. Within one or two days, it will uh, settle. Uh, no difference in this uh, alliance or something like that. So there were talks about a third front being floated under Vijay Gandhi. No, no chance for the third front. Uh, talks are cordial, sir. Do you... No, very cordial, very cordial. Yeah. Do you hope to settle the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So hope to settle and we unseat the DMK and Congress in Tamil Nadu. Well, the talks today have come up thanks to a few conditions laid out by Captain for uh, Amma. One of the key points being that the MDMK be brought into the fold. Waiku was initially offered eight seats and uh, by the days went, um, the numbers went up marginally. But the actual shocker was when the list of constituencies was declared, which ultimately had no mention of the MDMK at all. According to sources, uh, the MDMK could still stand a chance despite the bitter calls taken so far. In fact, Vaiko attempted a healing touch when he condemned his cadre for burning Jailalita's effigy and asked them to maintain discipline. Sources say he is expected to meet Ms. Jailalita tomorrow to make peace. 
And vouching for uh, Vico's return into the AIA DMK led alliance is uh, the actor Sharad Kumar. Here's what he had to say today. Right from the beginning, we have been allotted two seats, and the two seats have been confirmed as Sangha and Mangalore. And the main aim, as I already said, it is on the seats or the numbers that matter, unseat DMK for power. That matters. Yes, sir, there was some uncertainty. On, uh, Everywhere uh, there will be uncertainties, but the okay. is will be the team that is under Madam Jalalka. Okay. This alliance will definitely uh, win this election, and uh, Madam Jalalka will be the chief minister of the country. Sir, we will see whatever differences. Madam Jalalka will handle it with her administrative qualities, and Vaikov will come back to this. Joining us from outside uh, Ms. J.J. Lalita's residence uh, is our senior correspondent Peer Muhammad who joins us live right now. Peer, it's been a couple of hours now. Has there been a breakthrough at uh, Poe's Garden at all? Yes, Evelyn. Uh, in fact, uh, the Poe's Garden residence of ADMK Supremo J. Lalita has become the center of political activity in the state today with all the allies uh, except the MDMK walking in for uh, the final uh, arrangement in the constituencies, particularly the DMDK's uh, Pandruti Ramachandran and uh, Sudhis uh, are in talks with the ADMK Supremo Jailalida now, and also the CPI's uh, leaders, D. Pandian, CPM's leader, G. Ramakrishnan, and the other senior leader and Rajya Sabha MB of CPM, TK Rangarajan, are in talks with him, uh, uh, with her now, and they are hoping to settle the issue by tonight because it's the eleventh hour arrangement they are doing. They have. Uh, no, uh, not much time in hand to go for the campaign. Already Jailalitha had to postpone her campaign uh, which she was scheduled to begin at Madurai today and uh, they are very keen on uh, finalizing the seats for CPI, CPM and the DMDK. Already the five smaller allies uh, uh, like Pudhi, uh, the ASMK of Sarath Kumar and uh, uh, MMK, that is Manidane Makkal Kachi and Movinder Munetra Kalangam, they are allotted seats. Now that uh, what we are hearing is there is uh, overlap of constituencies between the CPM and the CPI, like Amba Samudram, Kovil Petty constituencies are wanted by both the parties. So that it is taking little more time. It is going to be a long drawn talks between uh, among the allies uh, that seems to be taking a little more time also. The other issue is the DMDK's 21 constituencies, which were in, in its wish list and later given to the ADMK candidates. They are now going to be withdrawn. That is what we are hearing. And the DMDK's list is quite long. And they have uh, aspirations to contest from Vellu district, Eero district, Kanyagmari district, and some parts of Chennai. So it is taking a little more time because already the candidates are announced for Vellu district, Eero districts, and also Kanyagmari Kanyakumari districts, also Virudhinagar, which is also one constituency the uh, DMDK is eyeing. So it is taking little time, but uh, the uh, leadership of, of all these uh, parties, particularly the ADMK and the DMDK, are keen on finalizing the seat arrangements by tonight because to, uh, on Saturday they have to finalize the seat arrangements with uh, Vico according to uh, sources in the leadership of both the MDMK and the ADMK. Right, Peter, I was actually just coming to that. While Vico may not have come in attendance tonight, uh, what's expected of uh, their meeting tomorrow? Is Jayalalitha really ready to reconsider the number of seats? Definitely, that is what uh, we, we have been hearing from the top sources in the AIDMK and the MDMK. And after the high-level party meeting, the MDMK chief Vaiko is scheduled to meet uh, ADMK Supremo Jailalitha at her Poise Garden uh, residence and sign the deal from the single-digit allotment. It is going to be a double-digit allotment for him, and uh, he may be uh, accepting that offer. That is what we are told by the close associates of MDMK chief Vaiko. Uh, his statement today is an indication that he is uh, uh, going to make peace with her. He, in fact, uh, asked his uh, carder to maintain discipline because the uh, talks are still on with the ADMK. So the, he asked the carder to maintain discipline. That is an indication for his making peace with the Jalalida. Right. Uh, thanks very much indeed, Pete, for joining us with your inputs there live from the Poise Garden residence. Uh, all of today, in fact, bring us close developments as they unravel there and uh, take place at Poise Garden. Now, uh, switching to the ruling party's camp, the DMK met their alliance partners at the DMK headquarters in the city. 
TNCC chief KV Tangabalu, the VCK chief and uh, the PMK's Ramados were among some of the top leaders who were present. They discussed um, election campaigning and this was perhaps uh, the first meeting, uh, the first all-party meeting uh, after the formal seat sharing and the announcement of constituencies took place. I only discussed about the campaign, election campaign. All the leaders are going to campaign together in all over Tamil Nadu. This decision taken in the meeting. Nadai bera ulle ter dalil. Yengal thoda meka shield yena indu paniyatu samna maag pesi rukrom. Madhi ilum mindle tulum alum arasigal vettikar man tittangali makkalu ke vallangi rukrom. Inda tittangal modam. Now, the PMK, which is contesting from 30 constituencies, uh, released its list of candidates. They plan to field this April. Prominent faces in the party, like GK Money, has retained his hold over his former constituency, Metur, while member K Guru has been slotted against at the Jaim Kondam constituency. Among uh, the other allotments are Neveli, which has been bagged by Vail Murugan, while Anai Katag has gone to M. Kalayarasa, Alangudi goes to Arul Mani, while uh, Ilan Cherian has been fielded in Choravandan, Koval Pati goes to member Ramachandran. Another ally of uh, Karunanidhi's alliance, the uh, Indian Uni United uh, Muslim League, has also uh, released its candidate list today. Uh, from their um, party, Tirupur Altaf Hussain will contest from Chennai Harbour, while H. Abdul Paseed stands in Vanyambadi and Muhammad Sheikh Dawood from Nagapatnam district. In some crime news from the city, the, uh, the city in fact witnessed two uh, murders since morning today, one along the Besanagar area where a 26-year-old young man died after he was hit with a grinding stone. Police suspect uh, previous enmity to be the cause of the murder. The Tirvanmur police are investigating the case. In a separate incident in Vadapalni, a housewife was killed when she was hit on the head with an iron rod. The cops think an illicit affair could have been the cause. <laughs> நேத்து மதியானம் போனாரா சாயந்தரம் அஞ்சு மணிக்கெல்லாம் எனக்கு ஃபோன் பண்ணிச்சு வேலை செய்கிற இடத்துல நம்ம வீட்டுக்கு நம்ம தனியாக போகலான் இன்னைக்கு காலைல பார்த்தா எப்படி பக்க யார் என்ன பண்ணுவோம் Well, up ahead on the bulletin, 25 years after the worst nuclear power plant tragedy in the world, will Japan undergo the same fate?